Okay, so I wanted to give another tutorial on rewiring Reason as a slave for Ableton. Let me just basically review how we did it in the past. What we did previously is we would open up Ableton and then we would follow that by opening up Reason here. And let me go ahead and just choose what I'm using for this tutorial. Okay. And what, what I showed you in the last tutorial that I've done here is normally all of your outputs are going to go into this mixer here and then it's going to go out of the mixer and into one and two. But what you want to do is actually go direct into this top interface. And if you don't see it, and I have had people email me saying that they don't have this. I don't necessarily believe that's true. A lot of people have said that they didn't have it in version 4. I think the case is it's probably folded up. So if I go ahead and hit the tab key this little arrow here, it might be something like that. And then when I flip it over, you just don't see it there. And you don't see uh, that very clearly to open it. But that that's essentially what you're going to want to do is go from, from this basically here. Let me show you. This is where the subtractor instrument is. Any instrument that you're going to be using, you want to set to a separate track. So when you trigger it in Ableton, you get that track by itself, this, this instrument by itself. So I went ahead and put it in, in input 3. And then what I had over here is I had a MIDI track. And I went in here in my options, I went MIDI 2, Reason. And then under there, you get a menu on what in reason you want to go to. And I chose Subtractor. So now I've got that set up. Then the second thing I have to do is make an audio track to send this MIDI to. And that would be here. I would go my audio from and choose reason. And then my channel is three. So now, oh, and also you want to make sure that you hit your monitor in. Now that you've got that, you can go ahead and uh, play. And you're able to record MIDI or audio uh, in Ableton like this. So this is the way that I showed you previously. An easier way to approach it now is more like this. Let me go ahead and make a, uh, I'll just go ahead and make an audio track. I just hit control T, made an audio track. And then instead of routing this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my instrument rack here and drag in an external instrument plugin. Oh, it may want a MIDI track, so let me just drop it here. There we go, yeah. So you want it to be a MIDI track. And then the MIDI 2. You're going to go ahead and uh, choose Reason. Then the hardware. I'm going to choose the subtractor. And what's great about this is you don't need to add an extra audio track. You can just simply tell it right here where you want the audio from. And I'm going to choose channel 3 because that's where we sent our audio. And now when I play this track here, here, let me that. I'll just go ahead and delete this so you can be certain that this is where it's playing. So then you just rename this to Subtractor. Oop. And you've got your, your reason rewired with one track instead of two. So go ahead and use the external instrument track when you're rewiring with, with Reason, and I'm sure with other programs as well. I hope this has helped.